Earlier this year, cancer patient Josie Taleb faced losing her remaining kidney and going on dialysis. I was really bad. I couldn't concentrate on anything. I cried at the drop of a hat, you know. Like sometimes I slept crying because I just didn't know how is this going to end. That's when doctors at Monash offered her an innovative form of gel-based chemotherapy, which is yet to be approved in Australia. Josie is probably the ideal patient for this uh, treatment because she had no other options. Doctors put a stent in Josie's back and administered the cancer drug into her kidney. That way it uh, sits in contact with the tumour and uh, slowly releases this chemotherapy drug to uh, attack the tumour. It was cold, <laughs> but it didn't hurt or anything like that. There was no pain. The gel form means the treatment stays in the kidney for longer. Traditionally, we've struggled to keep it in the kidney because of gravity drains downwards. A recent study found 58% of patients had their tumour eradicated following the gel-based treatment. This is the first time this treatment's been um, used outside of the US. After the treatment, Josie's scans were clear. I called my daughter straight away and said, there's nothing there. <laughs> so far, everything seems to be going very well. They're holding your life in their hands, you know, and, and you're always grateful for that. Josie received the drug under the Special Access Scheme. Doctors hope more patients will have access to it in the future. Sophie Scott, ABC News.